All right, in conjunction with the air detect setup screen and the three possible conditional states, I want to replicate these airs and show you how to clear them working with the XM20 and the 20 inch retractable dropper. The biggest thing to understand is that when any air, if you're running a batch of five or any batch of some substantial quantity, if the air occurs on the first piece coming through in that batch, you do have the possibility of the dropper fingers not fully extending because in any air situation, the program shuts the feeder and dropper to an immediate stop. And the way the dropper and feeder work together is on the first extension, we're starting the feed. So really the first product out usually matches the speed of the droppers finding their full extension. If I were to air in the second or third one into that batch, the fingers would already been out and it's really just stopping the dropper. But I want to walk through, create some errors and just show you how to clear it. So right now if you were to look to this screen, I have all three conditions on. The mist detect and the timeout represent errors with the triggering and airs with an empty pocket. In, future, in uh, previous videos, I've walked through them and showed them how, the, how they actually air the machine. So I'm gonna turn them off. And for this training video, I just wanna work with the double detect to stop it. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show a complete cycle of five. I'm gonna change right now. the feeder delay so I want it to feed right away after it triggers so I will cycle another cycle so these are good cycles now I want to show you what happens when you air it right away look down here you'll notice the finger started to come out. So the question is, what do I do with this? If I start to feed, I need to basically finish the fingers. So in the air, where the first piece in the batch airs, this is the representation that you'll see. Back to the screen here. To clear it, but the first thing you're going to do is go back to your dropper screen. You can go there through the arrows or you can go right to the yellow button. I'm going to take the dropper out of auto mode. hit it twice to retract it and finish the cycle. Now I will deal with the air that's on the feeder. The air that's on the feeder just needs to be cleared. I would actually cycle it. It won't cycle, by the way, with a dropper in manual mode. All right. If at any time the air occurs on the second or third or, or generating piece beyond that, and like in this situation, if you were to look down, the fingers are fully extended. I do have part of my drop already fulfilled. Three out of five have been fulfilled. At that point, it's just working with the feeder. It finishes the cycle, and then you hit it again, and you get your next full batch staged and ready for a trigger set.